Okay, on back, I just had another Bowser fight, and it went actually even better than the first time, if you can believe that. So I found out that, like, on that second planet, you can actually combo him before he even gets a chance to recover and hit him the second time on that planet with those ball-shaped plants. It was really cool. Also, I talked over the fanfare. You believe that? Jeez, man. Well, mm-hmm. So I assume it's just gonna kind of do the same thing here. We'll get the same kind of ending, but... Since I have 120 stars, I'm just gonna watch and see here. Let's watch and learn, watch and learn. Oh yeah, there's Ninten Anna, or Anten, whatever it is. No, Anten sounds too close to Anton, which reminds me of this book I read once. It's called The Husband, and there was a guy named Anson, A-N-S-O-N. -S I'm actually curious if I can skip this, but I don't actually know if I want to, though. Oh, look at all that steam coming off. Anybody who's standing on that planet is praying to any god they know to just deliver them from the hell. But there's prominences, so... Those things in stage 3 of life force that are so badass. Oh, in the 8-bit days, those were pretty badass, though. Oh, he is drunk and old and frail and fat. Th oh, he is so thick! Maybe he's dummy thick. I suppose you could say that. Yeah, like this, these Bowsers in these games like Mario Odyssey and Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, Mario Galaxy, like they're cool, but it's always so much funnier when it's in Paper Mario. Like, I don't know, I think Paper Mario Bowser is the best kind of Bowser there is, though. Honestly, that's when he really shines. Those things he goes through in Paper Mario 2 where he's like falling into the sea and he's having existential quandaries and he's, you know, putting Rockhawk in pain, period. That whole thing. It's just funny stuff. You know, when you make Bowser relatable, you make him immediately more likable as a villain. And I know you're not supposed to like the villain and everything, but it helps if they're kind of, you know, if there's something there to latch onto to say, you know, that I kind of get why he's doing what he's doing. Oh, right. We have to be touched again. We have to cry! Here we go! <laughs> Did the Lydia cry? That's alright, do that geometry homework. Anyway. Alright, this is where they all get reborn and everything, and they make a whole new universe, and, and that is the universe we live in! Hey. It's a theory. Anyway, just watch. Oh, right, we gotta have the Big Bang first. That whole thing. So anyway, oh, she, 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 she yawning right out. You, just, there's not the time to be yawning. I'm telling you, put the controller down. You're just holding it in your hand, waving it back and forth like a madman. All right. So what's next? Credits. At what point do we skip here? At what point does the timeline diverge here? Oh my gosh, she's so big. All right, the crying Lumas, the crying Luma babies. I don't want to get... Excuse me for not wanting to sit next to a crying baby for the next 15 hours. Girl, I have to press. Okay, let me do that then. Hmm. Taking a little sip here. Just to maximize my enjoyment. Because that's why we do things in life, after all. So the cycle of life continues. But someday... Someday... There may be more life than you'll ever believe. So it's a good thing we have an infinite universe to accommodate it all. So go home. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your peach. Did I hear something? I thought I heard something in the next room. <laughs> I guess that might be the washer and dryer, actually. Anyway. Back to the castle. Back to Mario's realistic overalls. But somehow I don't remember them looking like that, though. Like, I thought they had more of a texture like of what do you call the lines when something is like cross stitched or sort of but like I don't know it's weird can't describe it really <laughs> oh, got a free willy oh this would be a perfect time for this let's go yeah at least it wasn't one of those eight second long ones that I usually get stop it guppy we saw you the first time asshole I'll need to see you again. <laughs> I love being an asshole, just completely frivolously like that. 
Oh god, there he is. Here we go again. We're gonna have this whole scene again. Yeah, but like, if this was Paper Mario, there'd probably be like a whole conversation would happen here. Instead, he just kind of gets up, dusts himself off, and says, Better luck next time. I don't know. Maybe even she sympathizes with him a bit, though. It's like, maybe he's just lonely, you know? I don't know. What am I doing? Maybe I'm sympathetic. Anyway. Yes. All new life carries the essence of stars, even all of you. So, be good. You just have that one moment where you just reach up to the sky like, I am saved! I guess I kind of did have that moment once in a... at Mud House, which was like this church thing I went to with my boss for a few months. That was back in like 98. And like, there was one day we were sitting in a circle and they were all like praying for me and saying, relieve him of this or whatever it is, and they were like asking me if stuff was on my mind and what I was dealing with. And I basically just came right out and told them, you know, I can't talk to people. I can't look at people. I've never been able to. And we all just kind of held hands and sat in a circle. And occasionally you could hear one of them, like, saying, thank you, Jesus, or some whispering it under their breath. But they would say it all spittily. And you're like, mm -hmm, thank you, Jesus. But then, <laughs> just be thankful I didn't get up really close to the mic like I did at the beginning of whatever video that was. Uh, yeah, so, and then at some point, I don't know what happened, and I don't, I don't even remember what I was thinking, but at some point I, like, raised my arms up, still holding the hands of the two people next to me, like I was being released from this thing that had plagued me all my life, and everything was gonna be okay now, and I was gonna be able to look at people in the eyes from here on out, right here, the moment I raised my hands, like, there it is, thank you guys, you did it, you saved me. And then I went back to work the next day, and it was the same crap. Still couldn't do it. You know. But, you know, in the moment, it actually felt pretty good. And they had some skits in there that actually brought me to tears, some of them. You know, and I know people say, oh, well, all that shit's fictional. But, you know, just because the story's fictional as hell, sure as hell, doesn't mean you can get touched by it. We all know this. So, so there you go, you know. And that's all I'll say about that, though. This is a pretty cool music we got out of that. There was a CD I bought from a band that played there called the King Jesus Blues Breakers, and I would listen to it every Sunday. So, yeah. Oh my god, Straight Back! They got a shot of Straight Back! I can't believe that. Was that in the original? Or did they put that in there in the remake? Or the remaster because of me? And they did put Yoshi there? It's like they're just telling me, thank you for playing this. And to that I say you're welcome, Nintendo. You make some fine-ass products. Even though people rip on you for using outdated software and shit and making games for a system that that's apparently, by some people's wording, ancient. I don't know how anyone could possibly think the Switch is ancient. Unless you're just comparing it to everything nowadays. Which, again, I, it's like, I get why people do that, though. Because in their eyes, I mean, I don't know. But when you start to get older, it's just six years stops being what it once was. Six years is nothing nowadays. But, you know, but if you consider it was six years between, like, the NES and well, I don't know. I think I've actually had this discussion before, but I just can't think of the Switch as ancient. It's the latest one. How can it be ancient? But it's ancient in the sense that it has been going on seven years now since it was, since it came out, so... Well, what, seven years? Is it seven? Or is it, is it six? Like, we're at the end of 2023, so... I would say, yeah, that's pretty close to seven. Uh, well, let me... Hmm. Like, even if it was March 20... Let me, let me just Google it real quick and let me see. Uh, no, don't go to YouTube. What was the Switch release date? Not the new one. Yeah, March 3rd, 2017. So, yeah, okay, six and a half years then. That is a pretty long time, though. So, so yeah, and, like, I, so apparently, like, even when it came out, it wasn't as good as the PS4, and now we have the PS5. It makes you wonder, though. So, like, t hypothetically, Nintendo could take the step. They could make the jump. They could have super-duper awesome graphics, but at the same time... Thank you so much for playing my game! You're welcome! Thank you so much for listening!
All right, what happens now? What happens now? Do I get to do, like, the the thing, though? Oh, God, I don't think we've seen this. Okay, what's going on here? I am recording, right? Yes, okay. So, geez, geez. Oh, hey there. Hey, I did good, didn't I? Got all 120 stars in four days. She's looking down on me, though. Oh, wow. Thank you. Anytime. Oh my god, just like Christopher Lloyd at the end of Angels in the Outfield, which I cried in the movie theater when I saw that. Not really cried, but like, teared up. I was with my dad and sister, so I couldn't let them know. I mean, you think you'd be crying at the part where he says, I'm gonna be your dad. I want you to come live in my house. That's the part that's... That's the part that makes me tear up nowadays. Okay, are we going to the other world then? I take it that's what going through that door was. Well, you're flying again. Just her dress, her entire design is so beautiful. the heck? What is this? Wait a minute. Is this the preview for Galaxy 2? I think this might just be the 120 star ending. But I don't know, at what point does Mario end and Luigi begin? Super you can now- Luigi Galaxy. Oh my god. Oh my god, is that- is, wait a minute, I don't remember, does that title actually appear in the game, or did somebody photoshop that for Emil's LP? No, that still said Super Mario Galaxy. I'm sorry. Nope, that's... yeah. Huh, okay. Well, now we can play as Luigi. So here's the deal. Now we have to beat Bowser as Luigi. So, let's do that. Oh, God. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Mario's complete... Oh, God. I thought you got 121... Oh. I thought you got 121 stars and then you played as Luigi. Huh, but Luigi's like a whole separate file, because I got zero stars. Wait, so does that mean I have to do 120 with Luigi to play the Grand whatever it is? There's like a Grand Galaxy or something? I don't know what it's called, but... Oh, gosh. Let me just, uh... Let me just open this up. I don't want to stop here, like, asking these questions. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like the same cutscenes, but with Luigi. Well, that's another world, alright. Oh, man. Hey, wow, you're skinnier than the other guy. What's going on here? I don't get this. Oh, man, it's like back to the beginning all over again. Even though it was just four days ago. Oh, hey! Well, obviously, uh, as you well know, Luigi's controls are a little bit different from Mario's. He's uh, a bit of a better jumper. It's a little more slippery on the ground, I think. All right, we're just following him now. Oh, my God, his long jump is so good, though. So that's weird, because, well, no. Oh, shit. So the weirdest thing is, like, I feel like maybe I have played as Luigi, but I don't know how that's possible if I've never gotten 120 stars before. And that's three. Can't believe I let myself get caught again. Jeez, how many times are you going to do this? Okay, so, like, wow. Obviously, right now, as of now, the plan is not to actually do this all again. But, I guess if enough people wanted me to, I might consider it. Kinda no reason not to, other than just the fact that Emil's already done it, but... It's not like I've never done stuff that he has done already. Case in point, Mother 3, Paper Mario 2, Okami, except I streamed that one. Xenoblade, streamed that one. Oh, I've been watching you from here. Wait, you're not the right person? Why are you wearing green? How did you lose 100 pounds so fast? You were just... That's not healthy, dude. You shouldn't be doing that. Wait, your mustache is different. Also, you jump higher. Luma can give you this power. All right, Luigi Luma. I just want to hear Luigi over the Grand Star music because it sounds really cool. He's just got this raw, scratchy voice. I don't know, man. Disaster struck. Oh, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I don't care anymore. I did. I saved you already. Why do we have to do this again? Because you want to. That's why. 
That's why we do it again, because we want to, because we love it. And you love it too, I know. Yeah, so I guess I need to make a decision here. Well, the decision I think has already been made, but I'm just gonna stop here for this LP. But, like I said, if there's enough of a demand for it, I guess uh, maybe I'll go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and do Luigi too. The only problem, I mean, the only problem I really have with it is just the fact that I would be doing the same thing all over again a second time. So that's why... That's why. Oh, sorry, Luigi. Boy, you're gonna get treated just as bad as I treated Mario, if not worse. So yeah, apparently, yeah, you're very slippery as Luigi, so you gotta kind of watch your step here. Uh, it even said watch your step right there, and did I listen? Well, hell no. Four or number five. Just check the borders. Check. Keep your eyes on the borders. That's where you'll see it before you get to it. Oh, there it is. And the star hopefully appears fairly close to us. That's not close at all. In fact, I think it's faster to just keep running this way. Watch me fall in the hole again before I even get to the star. Jeez. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh my god. This could be interesting though. Because it is, I mean, it is different in the sense you're using a different character, so I reckon. But, I don't know. Mmm, get me out of here, one of these enemies have to keep... Oh yeah, and the first time around on this, somehow I didn't spot that Goomba. I see him right over there. See how much better I am now? Wow. If only I would learned to do this sooner. Now remember in Galaxy 2 when that key spawns on the pumpkin's nose? Just the side of that, the sidewaysness of the key, the pumpkin face. It's just something you wouldn't think you would ever see in your life. And yeah, these games make it so you do see that. So how close are we then? We had a few more little kinks and gathers to get through. You just have to free the Grand Star, that's all. Like in that Star Fox video, Arr, they're spamming me! Arr. God, that's so stupid. Man, I tell you. Oh, but Luigi's long jump, though, is just like... freaking hell, it's so good. It's so long, man. So long, please. Like, I would almost argue that maybe Luigi is actually easier to play with than Mario is. It's based on what I've seen. But it's like, how am I making that argument when I've never played as Luigi until just ten minutes ago? It's just, there's no telling what you could do with that long jump, though kind of shortcuts you could take. Well, okay, so here's the thing, though. I did play as Luigi in Mario Galaxy 2, though, didn't I? So, I guess that's why I feel like I have played as him before. That must be what I'm thinking of. Jump over these. Get this all done. I swear it feels like he runs faster. Don't know if that's actually true. Oh my god, stop stopping me. I will free you. Ooh. And just like that. Alright, fanfare with Luigi, baby. Hell yeah, dude. That's so fucking cool, man. <laughs> oh, I love Luigi. I'm glad he got at least one year. Uh, and then he died again. He died and died. I, I kind of want to do this, actually. <laughs> Shit, dude. I had so much fun with this this far. Well, the thing is, like, in my real time, in where I'm at right now, where I'm sitting, the Super Mario Galaxy LP is months away from ending, so I won't technically have to make this decision until then. I've got plenty of time to think about it, and I could just, you know, if I wanted to do it, I could do it then. But, anyway. So... I'm not going to make a final- WHAT?! I'm not going to make a final decision on this now. I'll just say, uh... I'll just say a very optimistic maybe for now. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This freaking game, I tell ya. <laughs> oh, cutscenes. Actually, we probably need cutscenes so I can finish- So I can just say my goodbyes here and close this out. But yeah, everyone who's been watching and commenting, this has been... I mean, all I got is two parts up, and people are already loving it. People are already, you know, leaving happy and joyous messages for me, and I'm just loving it. So, 
This has been a real pleasure, and I would hate for it to end here. But again, I need to stop saying things and make it sound like, oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna do it. But, like, if I had to put a percentage on how certain I am, right now I'd say about 64. That's a perfect percentage. It's a perfect number. It's a perfect Zelda angle on Rosalina. And how about those earrings? Never mentioned that. But anyway, jeez. It'd be amazing if I didn't end up doing this off screen or something because damn, this game is so fun. And like, I know two was fun too, but I don't feel like maybe two blew my mind too, and I just don't remember that because it was like 15 years ago or whatever. But man, I gotta tell you, I can see why people have clamored for a Galaxy Three. So I mean, I'd, I'd rather have a Galaxy Three than an Odyssey Two at this point, I think. But you know. There it is. We don't even have the number in the ground yet. We have seven star bits, zero coins. We're poor as hell. And who's going to show up over here when that time comes? I don't know. Maybe it'll be Mario. You know, maybe Mario gets to be the janitor this time or whatever this person is over here. Either way, yeah. So, this is the garage. Let's get a one-up. You earned an additional Luigi. Excellent. Yeah. Boy, that's spinning, though. All right. So, this is it. I am closing off for now. Next time, if there is one on Mario Galaxy, it's Luigi time. I'm, I'm just sitting here thinking about this, and I should just turn the video off. I'm just going to set the controller down. Well, I guess it's back to Tears of the Kingdom for me, then. Although I might DoorDash some Chipotle before then. DoorDash Chipotle. Who ever heard of that? Well, I have now. What's that green thing at the bottom of the screen? Oh, that's now. Yep, yeah, alright. Final shot. See you next time. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to the Super Mario Galaxy. I forgot to do something. I've already recorded the finale, but I forgot to do this. So I'm just going to run in here and do this real fast. Because I did say I was going to do it, but I forgot to do it when I was recording. So I'm back here to do it now. Hopefully we can, like, uh, just continue where we left off. I want to go all the way back to the beginning. Let us begin. Where were we? I don't know, it's been so long, Cletus. Let's find out. Chapter 5, okay! <laughs> yeah, alright. Maybe we should get like a little preview, uh, or I mean like a recap here. The kitchen will go here, and the library will go over there. The girl said busily to herself. We'll put the gate here. Gee, I wonder what she's building. It has a kitchen and a library. I can't imagine. Ever since the girl took Luma under her care, she'd been bustling about at a feverish pace. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it to make a happy home. Designer. Wait, no, that's Animal Crossing. It turned out that star bits weren't the only things buried in the ice. There were tools and furniture unlike they'd ever seen, and the girl used them to build a home. There were these fancy couches that went in a circle. Looking at the completed house, Lou remarked, Don't you think it's awfully big for just the two of us? With a library, bedroom, kitchen, fountain, and gate, it was certainly spacious, but still something seemed to be missing. If only my father, brother, and mother were here, the girl said wistfully. Indeed, the house was too too large for its two small residents. It's a bit of a tongue twister there. Well, sleepy time. And that night, clutching her favorite stuffed bunny close to her heart, the girl fell asleep in the starship. You know, in the starship! I am ruining this. Oh, chapter six. Wow, this is going by fast. Okay. Ah. Hey, look at this. <laughs> Then one day, while the girl sat sipping tea, a tiny apricot-colored planet appeared on the horizon. It was an avocado. Boy, no, those are green. From the planet, another Luma of the same color emerged. Do you two know each other? The girl asked the Lumas gleefully. Despite the girl's excitement, they seemed uneasy. Uh-oh, what's going on? The two Lumas neither drew closer nor backed away from each other. Instead, they just stared. Then one Luma broke the silence. And the wind. My mama! At once, the apricot Luma prepared it back. My mama, my mama! My mama! My mama! Mama! The two Lumas began to dance around the girl frantically, and neither showed any sign of stopping. The girl was so charmed by this adorable scene that she couldn't help but laugh, and that's when something very strange happened. Are you ready? This is the cliffhanger of the century. Next time when we start... I'm, I'm, let's just do it. <laughs> Super Luigi Galaxy. I think it's a shoe and I'm definitely doing it. I don't know if I'm doing it right away, but I'm definitely doing it. I probably should, since it's on my mind. Suddenly more Lumas began to pop out from the African planet. They were different colors, but they all shouted the same thing. My mama, my mama. The sight of all this shouting Lumas only made the girl laugh harder. What am I going to do with all these children? 
the Lula just stared blankly as she doubled over laughing. <laughs> doubled. Such a funny word. I guess we'll have to name each and every one of you. Tomorrow, once she had finished naming them all, she would begin moving all the Lumas into the new house. Oh, and you come up with that many names? I tried to do that in Dragon Quest XI, but... Ooh, Chapter 7. Here we go. Uh-oh, thinking about home now? After seeing their hundredth comet, a sudden thought popped into the girl's head. I wonder if my home planet is still as blue as it once was. She didn't say once there, I added that in. That's when she remembered her father's telescope. You dance with my father like Luther Vandross. So peeking into the telescope, a tiny blue dot floated into sight. It was smaller than a star bit. How strange, it's so far away, but it feels so close. But you just have to be there. Oh gosh, wow. She twisted the knob of the telescope and the blue dot grew until she could make out a grassy hill dotted with flowers that seemed very familiar to her. Zooming even closer, a terrace on the hill came to view. A terrace? I used to go stargazing there when I lived on my home planet. But not anymore. She remembered rubbing the sleeve out of her eyes as she followed her father up that hill to look at the stars. Then she saw her father through the telescope. He was looking back at her. It was scary. She remembered how she and her brother would sled down that hill. Well, you got yourself a family there, let me tell you. She remembered having picnics with her mother on that hill on bright and windy days. And... Oh no, oh man. I wanna go home, I wanna go home right now. The girl burst into tears and the Loomis didn't know what to do. So they said, well you love us, right? Aren't we enough? Ugh, I, just, I wanna go home, I wanna go back to my house by the hill. I wanna see my mother. The girl was shouting now, her face wet with tears. But I know she's not there. I knew all along that she wasn't out there in the sky. Because time goes by a hundred times faster for them than it does for me. She's sleeping under the tree on the hill. Dear God. The girl's cries echoed through the stars and a hush fell over the area. Oh man. Chapter 8. <laughs> the Wish. Okay. Oh man. Oh jeez. Though usually quite cheery, one day the girl became sad again. Luma drew close and tried to comfort her. Mama, you still have me! I don't care about you! <laughs> and don't be sad about your mama, because she's a part of you. That means she's always close by. I feel like I've just met my own mother. It's like me, I love Starbits, because they remind me of my mama. No, no, the girl said, unable to stop the tears. Oh, wow, so happy. A lonely look flickered across Luma's face, but it was soon replaced by a wide grin. Ah, I have an idea! I will transform into a comet, a soaring comet that you can that can carry you all across that can carry you all on this journey. I can't read for shit. With that, Luma trailing bands of white soared high to the sky and just as quickly started to plummet back down. Kaboom! Kablam! Splish! The ground shook and a bright light poured out of the crater that the Luma had created. The bands of light twisted together to form a comet tail. You know, cattail, hit climb the cattails, and then Luma emerged, reborn as a comet. Can she still talk? The girl could scarcely believe her eyes. But how? She kept asking. There are a lot of Lumas back there. It's like the entire planet's made of them. Our destiny was as Lumas is to transform into different things, said a red Luma who had suddenly appeared. Stars, comets, planets. We can become all of these things. When I grow up, I want to become a star that makes someone special smile, said a green Luma. A star. A blue Luma chimed in. That Luma turned into a real cutie of a comet, didn't he? They're all cute, let me tell you. All of the Lumas together said, No more crying, Mama. Thank you, said the girl in a whisper, and she pulled the Lumas close and hugged them. From that day on, star bits no longer fell from the girl's eyes. Uh, the comet set forth for the girl's home planet, its long tail blazing proudly behind it. Oh, I thought she was gonna, like, ride the comet and go back. Jeez. I, I can't believe- I don't remember what happens here. Jeez. I mean, I assume she doesn't go back because it would just be like, eh. So with its many Lumas and telescopes, the comet was quite a sight to behold. The girl and the Lumas were proud to call it home. At a welcoming party for a new Luma, the girl gathered everyone in the kitchen and said in a louder voice than usual, Alright, everyone! Let's bake a cake! A cake sprinkled with Starbirds! It would be star cake. Holy crap! The Lumas excitedly began to gather the ingredients. 
Oh, gosh, man. As she watched the little scurry it out, the girl smiled and thought to herself, This is my family now, and I will stay with them until they're ready to leave the nest. And when they do leave, I'll see them off with a smile. Because that's what makes a mother happiest. So you're just officially a mother now. That night when the girl lay down to sleep, a soft light enveloped her and reminded her of the blue planet she once called home. But it would be nice to return home once every 100 years to nap in my favorite sleeping nook. Once every 100 years? Oh, that's a long time. Just for one nap? The comet carrying the Lumas and the girl continues on its journey. So they did get on the comet. Apparently I misunderstood that part. With more family members in tow than can be counted. It's said that the comet visits the girl's home planet once every hundred years. It's proud white tail glittering in the sky. Ah. The end. Oh, just, just like that. Okay, so that's what, like when Rosalina said the thing about, you know, how every hundred years it happens. Wow. That's all. My story is finished. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> Read. Wait, no, I'm not starting all over. Oh, no, 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 no. Can I? Oh, okay, yeah, so. All right, well, that's cool. I didn't realize there were nine chapters. I assumed there were seven for some reason. Good lord, that's crazy. Ah, there we go. Can we move the camera? Oh, I can't move the camera here? Can't even go into first person? Oh, well, that was fun. <laughs> Jeez, I hope I'm not, like, missing anything. Like, maybe you can do something else there or talk to Rosalina after this and maybe like understand the lights are back on yes they are hey i read your story so are we close are you prepared to travel to the center of the universe no well unless are you please speak to me again when you are ready yeah that's fine uh uh, -uh. just we can get some one-ups while we're at it oh gosh this is really making me want to just start the movie i mean i kind of already did i mean i don't know whether i'm putting this at the end or the beginning of the last video the, the last video I say in quotation marks here, but, um, yeah, five up, hell yeah, dude. I'm just gonna lose those when I turn the game off, but whatever. Oh, man. Okay, well, no matter what happens, uh, this is, I'm, I'm pretty much done here, so I'll see you back here when we do Super Luigi Galaxy later. Yeah, I guess that's confirmation I'm doing it, yep. See ya!